Hey girls, so it is time for my week 16 pregnancy vlog and sorry my voice is kind of funny. I've been sick this week so losing my voice but um, besides that I'm feeling good so that's good. Um, I have my little list of things to go through this week and I have it down here so that's what I'm looking at. Um, so before I was sick this for week 16 um, I noticed an increase in my appetite. Now that like I've not been feeling good, my appetite is kind of suppressed again. So I don't know. Um, I think that's normal when you're sick, though. Um, another thing I've noticed this week, um, I've had some heart palpitations where I feel like almost like fluttering in my chest, and uh, I don't I don't know what it is. Um, when I was pregnant with my son, I did have I developed a murmur. So I, my heart is affected by the increased um, blood flow and everything that is associated with pregnancy. So it's just, it's not like worrying me. It's not painful. It goes away. So it's just something I'm going to bring up to the doctor at my next appointment. Um, I have noticed that like when I am walking, I, I feel pregnant now. I feel um, a shift in my posture and I feel like I'm moving my legs differently than I normally do. So I'm definitely feeling that change in the center of gravity that happens, um, you know, as you your center of gravity starts changing when you're pregnant. So definitely I've noticed that. Um, and this week I've noticed, um, well, way back in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was weaning my son. And um, I would say... I don't, I don't, I didn't write it down. It's in one of my other vlogs, but my milk did dry up completely. Um, it turned to colostrum and then it, it completely dried up and the colostrum is back. So the milk is coming in again already for this baby. Um, and that just started this week. So that is something that is, um, new and it's not, I'm not like leaking it or anything. It's not like a lot of colostrum, but it's there. Okay, so we're starting to look for bedding and decorations for the nursery. So I'm going to put a couple um, pictures in here so you can see what kind of we're looking at. One of them is um, called Blossom, and it's by Miji, M-I-G-I. And I found it, I found it multiple places, but um, babysupermall.com has it. And uh, there's another one. I think Sierra actually uh, likes this one too. She talked about it in her video. And it's really similar to the um, Blossom one that I like. And it's called Penelope and it's at Pottery Barn. And it's on sale right now. Um, so I'm kind of debating between those two kind of themes for the nursery. They both are basically the same theme. They're little birds. Um, and it's pink. And I like in the Blossom one, I like the bumper. Um, a lot better than I like the one in Penelope, but I like the quilt in Penelope better than I like the quilt in the Blossom one. I don't know. And the sheets, um, I really like the Penelope sheets too. So I like parts of each of them and you can't buy just the pieces of them. Um, so I don't know which one we'll pick, but I'm not going to order any furniture until we have our next ultrasound, which is on June 28th. And, uh, on June 27th, I have my next OB appointment. Um, so I was going like every two weeks seeing the perinatologist. And however the scheduling worked out this time, I see my OB on Monday, the 27th. I, I, these dates I'm pulling from my head. And then um, Tuesday, the 28th, I see the perinatologist. So I don't know. I see them like within 24 hours of each other, which I think is kind of silly, but um, I'm looking forward to the ultrasound and the confirmation of the gender. And once we find that out, we're going to go ahead and start ordering a lot of stuff. Um, we do want to order our changing table, which we like to get the kinds that are more like a dresser that can be used in the child's room later. So we have one for Connor, but we want to keep that one with Connor, like for his room when he gets older. So that's going to be one thing that we're going to purchase. Um, in the near future. Sorry, I just put a cough drop in my mouth if it looks like I'm chewing on something. Um, 
so yeah, the bedding decorations we're starting to look for for the rooms. And um, the books that I reviewed last video, I think it was last video, um, I wanted to let you know that the Hypnobirthing book is not my favorite. So the other book, um, which was the Ina May Guides Childbirth and uh, the Natural Birth, Natural Hospital Birth, um, I really like those books, but the, the Hypnobirthing book is not my favorite. So, um, But I found it on Amazon for $3, so I mean, you can't really beat it if you find it for that price and something you're interested in. You might as well give it a read, but um, I'm not finding it really worth my time. Oh, I can't even believe that I almost forgot to say this, but I have been feeling baby girl kicking starting, um, I want to say yesterday, it was like the most noticeable, so on June 12th, and I was, um, okay, so 16 weeks and one day is when I really started feeling movement. Um, I feel it down low, like below my belly button, and it feels kind of like, um, like a popping feeling. It's not like, uh, I don't feel like an arm or a leg, you know, not like the kicks you feel later, but just like the little, like little movements. That's what I'm feeling now, but she was going crazy in there yesterday. So even though I feel like crap this week, she was like, Hey mom, I want to make you feel better. So she, you know, she's let me know she's there and it was nice. Um, it definitely took my mind off not feeling well. So that's good. We got the uh, nursery pretty much emptied out, except for a TV and some video game consoles. And um, we moved the bed down here. So everything's set up down here now. Um, we got some of Connor's old toys unpacked, which they're more baby-friendly toys, but um, Connor is in love with them because they're he hasn't seen them for, like, I don't know, 10 months or so, so he's excited to dig into those um, older toys that we put out down here. So things are coming together. Um, and I, I want to take some video requests because people have been asking me questions about like cloth diapers or breastfeeding or whatever it might be. So um, I'm, th I'm thinking right now my little list of videos to do sometime um, would include cloth diapering, breastfeeding, and breastfeeding products that I really liked and almost found necessary when I was breastfeeding. Um, I'm going to do my labor and delivery and birth plan, but that won't be until later after I've worked with my doula more. Um, and then another one that I'm thinking about doing is a video on pregnancy and chiropractic care, but I don't have too much to say about it. Um, it's not that different than chiropractic care in general, so, but um, I do find it really beneficial. So if you guys have any specific questions about seeing a chiropractor when you're pregnant, let me know, and maybe that will help me um, put a little more detail into a video like that. So those are kind of what's on my mind for things to talk about in the future. Um, someone asked if I cloth diapered Connor when he was a newborn, and the answer is no. We started cloth diapering him at 13 months, so we were kind of late in the game, but um, I figured, you know, we have at least another year in diapers, so it's not too late to start, especially if you're planning on having more kids, um, and we weren't overwhelmed with learning to cloth diaper and uh, having a newborn at the same time, so it worked out well for us doing it that way. Um, so cloth that I bring a newborn is going to be interesting. It's going to be new for us. And I'm not planning on doing it until I am feeling better after the birth and I am able to move around more. And I'm not sure when we'll start the cloth that I bring. Definitely earlier than we did last time. But we are going to um, disposable diaper for a little while. I personally just can't see spending the money on disposable or on cloth diapers when my babies are so big. Connor was eight pounds and three ounces and he was born a week early. So I just, I can't bring myself to spend money on something that I'm going to use for a couple weeks. Um, so mostly what we're getting are like size smalls or one size diapers, which we can make small. Um, I do have some little Joey's, so I do have a couple newborn diapers. Um, 
but for the most part we are going to disposable diaper for the beginning so that's just um I just think having newborn cloth diapers and Connor's cloth diapers and me trying to recover and ho hopefully it's not a, the recovery I had last time hopefully I feel better quicker and I'm not so sore and my blood counts higher so I have some energy but I just don't see me being able to keep up with that um in the beginning so maybe I'll change my mind but at this point in time that's how I feel about it so so I think that's all on my list um of things to talk about this week I'll show you my belly and we'll take our measurement and uh yeah I think that's it um regarding pregnancy and the baby um I do want to let you know Connor is having a surgery on Friday so any prayers thoughts um you know for him and you know a good surgery and a quick recovery and everything would be appreciated he just has a cyst um it's on it's like right here on his head he's had it removed when he was 12 weeks old and it grew back so he's got to have it removed again um so it's not like a major surgery but they do put him under and they incubate him and um it's just a lot for a little tight to go through so uh yeah, just hoping he does okay, and, and you know, of course, I hope he, he does okay, but, you know, prayers and thoughts would be appreciated. So, um, I'll show you the belly, I'll take the measurement, and then I think that's it for this week. So, here we go. Dang it, a black shirt again. I don't know where that glare's coming from, I'm sorry. That's the belly. And it's a belly from that side. And from the front. There's the actual belly. Through the front there. You can kind of see the belly starting to come out here. Okay, so I'm going to say right there, which is actually a growth. Okay, so belly's growing. Um, I think I'm going to stop taking the belly measurements on camera every week. It's just like the shape of my belly, that tape measure doesn't uh, fit like my contours very well. I think it's too thick. So um, I might just do it just for a fun keepsake, but I just don't think it's very accurate. Um, but maybe I'll show you the amount of growth for each trimester or something. But um, yeah, so I think that's it for this week. But if you have any questions or comments um, or video requests, feel free to leave them as a comment or message me like always. And if I don't, uh, reply to your question. I'll answer it in the next video. Um, so thanks for watching and I will talk to you later girls. Bye.